welcome again for the next uh, session of our hepatitis uh, so I'm trying to record it now again and it is the second attempt and the first attempt was a failure I couldn't record it uh, so before I start it again I would I would like to uh, extend and wish a very happy Valentine's Day for all of you so let get go today's uh, topic is a hepatitis and circulatory diseases of the liver we know the way we teach the pathological topic to you we define the disease then uh, classify it discuss that etiology um, pathogenesis morphology clinical features complications lab findings and finally we discuss about the clinical syndromes here in the hepatitis we are discussing the clinical syndrome first now what is hepatitis as the name simply suggests uh, hepatitis is the inflammation of the liver that is the hepatitis so this inflammation of the liver can be caused by various kind of agents these agents could be a virus then we call it a viral hepatitis it can be alcohol so it can be alcoholic hepatitis it can be drugs or it can be any other uh, toxic substances to the liver so when in general we talk about hepatitis we basically assume that we are talking about a, a viral onset hepatitis so when I say hepatitis in this lecture today you will think that I'm talking about a viral hepatitis so before I start with hepatitis the viral hepatitis I would like to show you the patient how the patient look like with a viral hepatitis this is the patient when I was a student in clinical medicine in pathology my professor they used to show us the picture as well as the individuals the real individual who is suffering from viral hepatitis if you look at the patient you see the patient looks very ill uh, if you look at the whites of the eye they are yellow the conjunctiva, conjunctiva is yellow in color you can see the mouth is shrunken patient looks a little ill if you look at the chest which is uh, very very thin compared to the rest of the body if you look at the arms and the hands you can see the wasting of the muscle but if you look at the abdomen it is not really looking that bad really there is no six pack but it is not very much ill looking it means there is some kind of fluid accumulation in this abdomen it means again when you see a patient with a viral hepatitis uh, you can have some cirrhotic component mostly you may not get it but generally you get it and as a result of this thing we can get some ascites so this is a classical appearance of the patient who is suffering from hepatitis look at the conjunctiva uh, is a very important point uh, you are getting a jaundice as a complication of the viral hepatitis so since it is a viral hepatitis issue we get various kind of viruses uh, a virus b virus c virus d virus and e virus this e virus is more common in the asian countries uh, but this e virus infection usually may be self limiting but this e virus infection can produce a real danger if this infection is present in the pregnant ladies so these are the various viruses we have now we shall discuss the individual viruses and uh, their complications to start with the diseases let us see some clinical pathological syndromes since it is a viral induced condition 
we can get a acute illness like acute hepatitis and you get a chronic illness that is chronic hepatitis like any other inflammatory conditions now acute hepatitis and chronic hepatitis they are commonly present they can be present but in addition to that there is one more clinical pathological syndrome or clinical syndrome that is known as carrier state as the name suggests you can see from here that it means the patient is carrying the infection you can easily understand that this is a very dangerous condition acute illness the acute hepatitis the good news is that this may undergo a complete recovery however some patient with acute hepatitis may progress to the next stage that is a chronic hepatitis this can occur but many a cases acute illness has a favorable prognosis but this is not true for the chronic illness when the patient can have three different kind of features or association which are uh, uh, dubbed as chronic illness like you can get a chronic hepatitis you can get the next important point carcinoma of the liver yes and you can get the cirrhosis of the liver all of them basically a chronic type of illness in a patient with a viral infection of the liver now what is acute illness remember when there is a virus infection involving the liver you get the viral antigen into the serum don't you know these things the antigen